Hey, y'all already know the vibes, man. It's your boy, Downward. Listen, I brought my finisher to the stage, man, to the 1v1 court. Now, I was on a 16-game streak, but I walked off to go play threes with my boys. But I came back, went on another 10-game streak, walked off that. So, look, I won, like, 26, 30 games in a row in, on this play, man, on the 1v1 court in the stage. I literally went from 98 overall to 99.9, .9, all on the 1v1 court. So, that's a lot of games, man. But this is what my play is looking like now at 99.9. .9. Now, this is crazy, man. It's a few things I want to note. One, I get elite contacts with the 87 drop and dunk, right? Now, two, the ball handle is 78. So, let's say you're running threes or twos and your partner's running floor general. You get momentum with this player once you start filling your takeover bar. But, yo, look at the defense on this build, man. 94 rebounding, defensive rebound, 87 offensive rebound, 80 interior D, 80 perimeter D. Like, this build could do it all defensively, man. And I almost forgot, you got a 91 block. So, yeah, for them pink matching centers and all that, yeah, they gonna have to say goodbye, man. I'm telling you, you gonna get stops on them. Maybe one or two or three, to be honest with you. Yeah, you still 6'7". So, you know, like, if a 7'3", come on, it's still gonna be a little bit tough. But I guarantee you can get a stop, man or two now look these are the badges i'm running just in case anybody's gonna ask and i'm gonna show y'all my six too man now the six ain't too much different from my other guards to be honest with you i mean at the end of the day this is still a guard build bro he's just brolic like the motherfucker don't look like a guard but he's a pretty much a guard or a small forward six seven man so yeah look these are my six man jump shot 38 normal four pull up 21, you know, normal 21 hop jumper, quick dribble style, you know, Allen Iverson's size up, everybody's on that now, I've been on that though, man, I've been telling y'all about the AI size up, man, it's killer, moving crossover pro 2, moving behind the back pro 5, basic one spin, y'all know the vibes, man, but yeah, first game of the day, I'm playing an interior force, man, a post scorer, you already know he's backing me down, he's making bullshit, but as you can see, I already got my lock takeover, man. And why is that? Because of shit like this. I'm getting good contests. That's not a foul at all, of course. But I'm getting good contests at the rim. He's still going up, getting his own rebound and all that. I mean, he's like, he's probably like 7'2", 7 7'3". 7 he's 7'7". Seven something. But the problem is I kept giving him the ball back, man. I get the stops, but then I'm missing my shots. But it was my first game of the day, man. So you know I had to warm the jumper up, man. But I wasn't really too worried about this nigga, man, to be honest with you. Because I know I was playing great D and I was getting stops. And I felt like I could get a stop no matter what anyway. But anyway, man, you see he's playing off of me. I'm letting it fly. Y'all know me, man. If you play off of me, I'm letting it fly. Don't disrespect me, man. Don't disrespect me like that. If I see a nigga playing back, I'm letting it fly. And as simple as that, bro. I can't tell you how many times niggas just sat pink the whole game and let me shoot the win. Like, y'all gotta be out of your mind, bro. I will shoot straight fucking greens and beat you. I swear to God I will. Leave me open. Come play me and leave me open. I swear to fucking God I'm gonna sit on the three-point line and I'm gonna shoot seven for seven and end the game. But as you can see, man, he started to respect the jumper a little bit. He's starting to step up a little bit. So you know, you know how the story goes, man. You step up, it's a layup. You play back, hold that. Come on, man. You can't guard me, bro. These centers cannot guard you if you can shoot the ball, man. As simple as that, bro. Next game up, I'm playing a two-way slashing playmaker. Look like a midget, man, but look. I don't know why niggas be bringing these small-ass players to the 1v1 court, man. Now look, I ain't saying that it's impossible to win on a small player, but you just handicapping yourself, bro. Because you're going to face a monster like me. And I'm going to just bully you like this. I mean, look, man, don't get me wrong, bro. Like, it, you know, it, it takes skill to use a guard like a low guard in the 1v1 court. You got to be nice with it. But you at a disadvantage every single time, man. That's why I made this player, to be honest with you. Because I got tired of getting bullied on this court, man. But I needed something I could cook up with. But also play defense with and not be like a little bitch on the court, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, he reaching on me. And I tried to hop step right here, I got jammed up. So, you know, I gave him the ball. But I ain't never worried about giving the ball up on this player, man. But look, I didn't even give the ball up. I got my own rebound, man. He can't even get a board. It's looking tough for him, man. I can't lie. Now, right here, I'm forcing the issue going baseline, man. He can't even stop me from going baseline. Look at this, man. 
It's like I can do whatever I want. I go wherever I want to go because he can't stop me, bro. I'm just a freight truck, man. He can't stop me, bro. So you see me cooking them up, trying to cook up. I should have been shot the ball. I've been open, man, but I took a bad shot right there. It's not really a bad shot, but he got a contest on it. But right here, he thought he had me beat. Get out of here with that, man. Big chase downs, pop out, big greens. Y'all already know what I do. So for the sake of time, it's a lot of gameplays that I'm trying to fit in, man. So I'm going to skip to the end of this one. I mean, I pretty much did that for the rest of the game. So here's what it is, man. He can't guard me. Now we got another little offensive threat. I almost said interior force. Offensive threat pulling up, man. I'm going to skip through this gameplay too, man. Because look, honestly, I mean, there's not much to see, bro. It's bully season again. Like, yo, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all, man. Y'all got to leave them little guards on the threes, man. Don't bring them to the twos or the ones, bro. Leave them on the threes or the pro-am or the rec. Because that's where they're going to shine at, bro. They ain't going to shine on the, on the 1v1 court, man. When you playing a nigga like me or a center, which would make it even worse, your ass is toast, man, to be honest with you. Like, yo, it defies all logic, man. Why would you bring an offensive threat to the 1v1 when you have no defense? So unless you're going to shoot perfect and never give the ball up, it don't make no sense to bring that build to the court, man. It really don't. But you see, I missed the bunny, man. Gave the ball to him. But look, I'm on him, man. See, that's the thing, bro. I give the ball up, but I'm going to get it right back, man. Because I got defense, bro. And I, and I got lock takeover. Lock takeover is the most OP takeover to have on the 1v1 court, man. Now, I missed again and gave him the ball back. But look, I get it right back, man. I get it right back. He's box. He's cage. There's nothing he can do. Now, honestly, against this dude, I don't even have to shoot the ball. I can just run to the hoop, hop step, euro step, reverse dunk. But you know me, man. I like to shoot the ball, bro, because I know I can shoot, man. And I like to keep the jumper warmed up, man, because you never know when you're going to have to pop it on the motherfucker, man. Niggas be leaving you open. Got to let it fly, man. You got to let it fly. Now, right here, I get a little space creator animation. I'm wide open. Get him out of here, man. Now, I think a lot of people like to leave me open because they really think that my build can't shoot. Because they see finisher and they think it just can't shoot. They think it's like a slasher or something. Or like a red and blue pie chart with, with no shooting ratings. Bro, I got damn near a 73 pointer, man. I let it fly, bro. 70 midi. This build is a shooter, man. Straight up. Now, I hear all kind of people saying like, yo, you need at least 10 shooting badges to shoot greens consistently. Are you dumb? You do not need 10 shooting badges to shoot on this game, bro. You don't even need... Bro, all you need is quick draw and, like, a bronze range extender. You can shoot perfectly from anywhere, bro. I promise you. But this dude right here is making very late and shit. I had to block his shit, bro. Like, get out of here with that weakness, man. But he about to... He got me right here, man. He got me. I jumped early. He got the little bailout. But then he taking more nut shit and missing. I'm like, yo... You get this nigga out of here, man. He wasting my time with this nonsense. Now, this dude is one of them niggas that's going to dare me to shoot, man. He's going to play off of me. He's going to dare me to shoot. He's going to hope I miss so he can get the board and get the ball back. But I ain't going to miss, man. I'm not missing, man. You see what I'm doing? Big greens, man. Limitless greens, bro. You see what a lot of people don't realize, bro? I want to shoot. I really want to shoot, bro. So when you're giving me all that kind of room, you're just playing my game, bro. You're playing to my game, man. And I... I appreciate it, bro. I really appreciate it. Now, this next game, I don't know, man. This dude wasn't really playing no D, so I was just playing around, doing some weird-ass combos, you know, just messing around, man, having fun with it. But um, the next game, I'm going to be playing a post-score, man, a back-to-basket, quote-unquote, big. So that's another post-score coming up, man. I'm telling you, this build, you're going to get stops on these niggas, man. You will get stops. So as you can see, I'm playing a 97 overall back to basket big post scoring takeover. So you know you're a post scorer. Now I come out the gate breaking, man. Uh, you don't want to do that against these niggas, man. You want to get up as much as you can before you give them the ball back. So first place backing me down. You see, I try to pull the chair. They don't give me the animation, man. It's all good. Second place still backing me down like shit. I'm fouling, fighting for my life. Like I said, bro. This build, you will get the stops, man. As you can see, I get him to pick the ball up, force the pick up. So now I got to cook up and not give this nigga the ball back. So you see me sizing him up, trying to get the midi off. I get the midi off. So it's 2-2. Two, two. I'm open. He's leaving me open, but I'm bricking, man. I didn't get this nigga the ball back again. So I got to deal with this nigga putting his ass on me for the fucking whole game. Like, oh my goodness, man. 
But right there, I get a good contest, get the ball back. So I'm saying, like, you're going to get the stops, man. You got max wingspan, 91 block rating. You're going to get some good contest, man. But I'm trying to size him up for the midi right here, right in his eye. Hold that. Step up, nigga. Step up. So now he's playing me kind of high now. He don't, it looks like he don't want to let me shoot the ball anymore, man. So I'm like, I right, bet. I'm going to go to the rack then. With these centers, it's very simple. If they play too far back, shoot the ball. If they start coming up, go around them. They can't keep up, bro. They ain't, they ain't fast enough laterally. I don't know what the hell I just shot right there or what I was doing, but I done gave him the ball back like a damn idiot. So now I got to deal with this post scoring shit again. But right here, I think I'm going to get him pull the chair, man. I think I'm going to get the pull the chair animation right here. I'm bodying them up. Oops. Yeah, there it is. Uh-huh. Dummy. Looking stupid. Gave him the finger wag, too. So I got the ball back. Now I'm greening up, man. Now it's time to green up, man. He playing off. Got to make him respect the jumper, man. Simple as that. Now right here, I'm trying to fill him out. Pause. But I'm trying to see what he's going to do on defense. He's going to step up or play back. He's stepping up. I'm going to the rack. You already know how it go, man. Y'all know the motto. If you play up, it's a layup. If you play back, hold that. You see me greening up, man. He playing too far back. He daring me to shoot. Now, I shoot again and I miss. Oh, my goodness, bro. But as you can see, I got my lock takeover. I popped it right before I missed the shot. So now I can play D on him, man. But look, you want to see if I can get another stop, bro, because it's looking tough right here. Now, what the hell did he just make, bro? Like, what is that, 2K? What is that, bro? That's a bailout. But he's getting all these slide by animations and he's like bailouts. So I'm like, you know what, man? Let me just keep playing D because look, that ain't going to last very long, man. He's going to end up making a mistake. He's going to end up turning the ball over. And boom, right there, what do you know? He goes up, he tries to hop step or something. Messes himself up and gives me the ball back. So now I got to take advantage of it and not give it back to him, man. Because look, sooner or later, he's going to get his takeover. And it's going to be a wrap. But I miss again, bro? Yo, I know I ain't, I ain't the only one that be experiencing this, bro. I swear to God. Sometimes you can time your shot perfectly. And 2K will give you an early for no reason, bro. Let me know if y'all experience that, bro. Because I swear I'm not the only one, man. But look, I get him jammed up. He goes up and still makes some BS, man. I'm telling you, these 7-3s, they're, over, they're overpowered, man. In the paint, they're overpowered, bro. They make everything, man. It don't matter what you do. But anyway, I get to stop going baseline on him. I'm trying to get him out of here, man. I ain't trying to get this nigga the ball back. Because if he gets his takeover, say goodbye, man. Now, as you can see, this dude is low-key nervous to let me shoot the ball, man. Because you can see he starts stepping up and shit. Like, look at him. Anytime I go to the midi, he starts stepping up. That's why you got to let him respect your jumper, bro. Show him he can shoot early. They going to have to be start. They going to start stepping up. I'm telling you. But now we got a two-way slasher coming up, man. He's going to try to stop the freight truck, man. It's not going to happen, though. Blown by him. He can't stick me, man. He can't guard me, bro. He don't know what I'm going to do. He's trying to take the jumper away. He's playing up too high. I'm going right by him, man. Gave him the ball. He still can't score on me, man. Look at this, man. He tried to go baseline like every slasher does. I'm not having it. Get it out of here, man. Hop stepping him to the bucket. He can't guard it, bro. He can't guard me, man. Look at this, man. He's playing too far back. Hold that. Simple. Now, you can see he's playing me super high, man. He gets put out of position. Go to the rack. Easy layups. Now, right here, he gets fried. Look at this. Boop, boop. Oh, he flopping. He flopping. Yes, sir. Ended up giving him the ball again. Got 100% smothered on his shot attempt. Got the ball back. Easy layups. Get him out of here, man. Now, as you can see, I ended up facing another 7-3 post scorer, man. Trying to pull the chair. It ain't there. Gave him the ball back, but look, this is how I usually get the ball right here, man. Get him to pick the ball up, man. Simple as that. Simple as that, man. Now, I'm going to skip to the end of this gameplay so I can fit one more in, man. There wasn't much to see in this game. He can't keep up with me. You already know the vibes, man. He's too slow. He's too big. Pause on that. But, yeah, y'all know the vibes, man. He played back. Hold that. Now, this dude right here, he just pretty much left me open the whole game. So, I ain't really going to show up, man. I was just greening up. Last shot of the game, I ended up wiping it, but they gave it to me, man. As you can see, I shot five for six from three. He wasn't guarding me, man. I was wide open the whole time. But as you can see, man, this back to basket big pulled up again, man. He spun the block. He was heated, man. He was heated, but as you can see, I'm dropping him off again, man. I'm dropping him off again, bro. He's leaving me open, disrespecting me. I don't know what he's thinking, man. Like, 
Did you not see that I got the chopper? What's wrong with him, man? He's leaving me open. But I ended up giving him the ball back. But look at this Bills defense, man. Look at that. Good contest in the paint. Get the ball back. Ended up giving the ball again. Another good contest in the paint. I'm telling you, interior defense is so important, bro. If you don't have interior defense on your build, delete the build and remake it, man. It's late in the year, but look, if you messed up on Ontario D, your build is trash. Simple as that, man. Now I got one more gameplay I'm going to fit in of a two-way slash and playmaker, man. As you can see, I'm on a 15 game at this point. Haven't lost, man. This build is tough, bro. And now, like I said, man, after this streak, I went and played threes, but then I came back and went on like another 10 or 12 game streak or something like that. So that's like 30 games in a row, man, where I didn't lose, bro, on this build. This build is tough, man. It's a great 1v1 build. But not only is it a great 1v1 build, but it's good anywhere, man. It's good on the twos, the threes, and in the pro end, man. I'm telling you. And look, that's why it's my favorite build of the year, man. Because it can do it all, man. It can do everything, and it can do it all well. It can dunk, it can slash, it can play D, it can shoot, it can dribble, cook up, whatever. So if I'm coming out here to win, man, best believe I'm coming on this build every single time, man. Now, yeah, I'll switch it up here and there. But if I really want to compete, this is the build I'm going to get every time, man. Because, in, yo, look, defense is so important, bro. Defense is so important, man. And with a player like this who has a max wingspan and max weight, you're going to be super solid on defense, man. Niggas are not going to be able to take advantage of you, bro. Now, as I mentioned before, man, this build, it really ain't for everybody, man. If you can't shoot with six shooting badges, don't make the build. I don't know how many times I gotta say it, but look, if you're not comfortable shooting with them with that badge count, just don't make the build, man. It's not for you. It's cool. But honestly, bro, I think people are just brainwashing and thinking that, yo, you need a high shooting rating, then you need a 30 badges to shoot. And that's not the case on this game, man. I'll tell you the truth, bro. Six shooting badges. And, and, and a rating in the 60s, you're good to go. You're going to be greening up as long as you can time your jump shot, man. But as you can see, man, score 16, 19. We both got our lock takeovers on. So it's going to be tough to score for either one of us, man. This is a cool game right here. I try to go to the rack. Look at that lock takeover doing work, man. He's got a good contest. Stop me at the rim, man. That's tough. Right here, he's going to take a bad fade. I mean, it's not a bad fade. It's wide open, but he mistimed it, man. So I got the ball back. I'm going to get him out of here, man. Not right there, though. You can see, man, he's playing some great D. But I'm going to get a load of hot step animation to get him out of here, man. But look, it's a long-ass video, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the gameplay, man. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.